Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The summary and peace out to the rest of you. Black Art is Son of Black and again asking you to hit that share button. Thank you if you hit like or subscribe, but the share button is really important because um, sharing benefits us. Like and subscribe benefit me, but sharing benefits uh, us and the message is more important. And been through this before, you've heard it all. Look, let me get to the meat of this. I promised a response to Lovecast's six-minute video in which he says a criticism of SYSBM will not stop. And one of the things he said was that, um, that this does not mean that they hate us. Now, since Lovecast took a civil tone, I can take a civil tone with Lovecast. Now, I, I vaguely remember him saying something about us that was not true, but I can't recall what it was now. I can't be sure that he made a false accusation towards us. I know that Steve the Dean did. And I know that Super Sly did. One said we're gay, the other one said we're pedophiles, and we live in countries in which both of these may be illegal. Some countries have outlawed um, booty banditry, that booty business stuff, but even countries that haven't outlawed it may not approve of it. And all of them, I'm pretty sure, have outlawed pedophilia. This stuff is outrageous. And I'm not going to sit up here and uh, try to justify them making these false accusations that could have gotten a bunch of innocent people in trouble if the right folks had heard this and contacted police and law enforcement agencies abroad. I was, I was worried about that. Because, see, black men know that we can't go anywhere and get away with outrageous stuff like that. Now, you can fight white supremacy, but you can't fight white supremacy by being a black man with a U.S. passport going and spreading gay stuff into another country or promoting it there or digging out some kids. That ain't the way that works. Now, quiet as is kept, most other communities do not hate African-American men who marry their women. Whites, yeah. Arabs, not so much hatred, but they, they probably don't prefer it, I'm sure. Um, but no, other places, no, they do not. If I went to Malaysia now and I was going to marry second wife, the Malaysian men would not be mad at me for walking around with a Malaysian woman. Now, the Indian men would be mad if I walked around with an Indian woman. But the Malay men would not be mad that I walked around with a Malay woman. And the Chinese, well, I don't give a rat's behind, but I don't think they'd have nothing to say about it anyway. But they wouldn't like it, I'm pretty sure. But the Malay race, no, they would not have an issue with it. The men would not come up and ask either one of us what we're doing together. That ain't the way that works. This is something that some people have and others don't. Now, I want you guys to realize, and I'm not even going to talk to your bosses, the gynocrats and the matriarchs. I'm going to talk to you, the goons and the mamdingos for them. You... Um, have not brought any points that we can't shoot down and have not shot down from what I've heard. Maybe you brought a point nobody shot down, but I haven't heard the point yet, if, if there is such one. I'm waiting on you to bring forth new points so we can hurry up, get that out the way, and shoot them down. But let's say, okay, you know what? You do bring new points. There's one point you can't shoot down that I'm about to raise. SYSBM. Passport bros, passport gang, and even Ipmore, all are in existence because Sapphire drove us away, not because we drove her away. The Western women, black and white alike, have been driving their respective men away for a while. The men have not been driving away the women. End of story. You cannot refute that point. You may not agree, but you can't refute it. The fact remains that many of you will consider women um, or you say you will consider women that would not consider you under the reverse circumstances. But if you were one of those guys that really has a bunch of women chasing after you, you would not consider them, but you still want to tell us that we should consider them. I should be childish, but consider a single mom, even though you probably would not do that, not to settle down with. Now, whatever your reasons are, uh, and I don't mean you low cast because I don't remember you calling us pedophiles or gay. But whatever these other two cats reasons are, Super Sly and Steve the Dean, uh, William, whatever their reasons are for calling us pedos and gays, I don't really care. The FBI has already said that white men lead in pedophilia, not black men. They've already said it. And the United States will prosecute U.S. citizens abroad for acts of pedophilia. 
So this means that the two, uh, uh, pretty much the U.S. government is saying that it is because of its white citizens that there's this problem, not because of its black citizens. They're saying this. Massa inadvertently exonerated us, and you want to sit up here and, and throw the blame? Niggas, you stupid. That's not all, though. There's more to it. I also want you guys to realize and understand that um, that somebody can ask, and someone has been asking, what are your reasons that you don't want us to get passports and bounce? And bounce into the bedrooms and arms or mar marital contracts with other women. What's the reason you don't want that? I understand why you may not want us with white women. I get it. I'm the same way. I do see them as a threat. But they're not the same threat to us that the white man is to the black woman and the children that result. I don't think that's the case. However, I see them as, as, as dangerous. I do. Okay, I get it. The Arab woman is not black. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I don't trust them yet. Not like that. The Indian, the Pakistani, the Afghan woman, don't even get me started. If she's not ready to pass herself off as a black woman with straight hair, um, she's still got ties to her people and they're going to give her crap about it. That's what's going to happen. So I understand certain races because of their history with us, but you all seem to have an issue with us anywhere at all. Just, just, just not on the American nigger plantation. There are only two reasons that you could have for this. And they're not mutually exclusive, so it can be both for some of you. Number one, you've been getting the buns without paying the bill, and you found out that we've been getting the bill without getting the buns. And you want it to stay that way. If that really is the case, then your so-called alpha status, which doesn't really exist in the first place, is dependent upon us paying the bill. So we're supposed to pay the cost for you to be the boss. Are you stupid? We told the women we ain't going to pay the cost for them to be the boss. What we look like paying the cost for another man to be the boss. But that's, that's, one, poss that's one possible motive. That one right there may be your motive. The other one is, you know damn well you got kids somewhere. And you care enough about what happens to the kids, but you don't want to be the one to take responsibility. So you want to tell guys like us to stay in the community and mentor them, even though they're not ours. The only third option is some combination of the first two. You have nothing else to gain by us staying when your matriarch and gynocrat bosses don't want us anymore. Or never did want us. You don't have any other benefits to draw. What are you doing? Why are you trying to get us to stick around? That don't make no sense. We're stupid for staying around. We're stupid for not leaving in a case like that. Now, shoot down those points. I hope that what I'm saying one day won't be true anymore. But in the meantime, I hope that what I've said is a benefit to the audience. Blackheart, signing black out. Assalamu alaikum and black male power.